Hi all and welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks. Um, today we are going to be doing something slightly different. So I've taken you through some CSWA and CSWP tests in the past, uh, some example ones. Now again we're going to have a look at an example one but we're not going to be modelling it today. What I'm going to be doing is t showing you a quick way of altering your CSWA um, drawings. Now as you can see on this one here, We've got lots of labels for sizes rather than the actual sizes being designated. So you can see we've got a, an A, B, C, C, D. We've then got some labels on our uh, diameters of our holes here on the E's, the X and the Y's. So we've got a variety of different sizes included here that are variables. These are going to change. Okay, so. We need to set up our model so that we can actually change these without having to quickly keep going back into dimensions, find each individual dimension and modify the dimension on it individually. Um, and there is a couple of ways we can do this. There's using uh, design trees, which we're going to look at today, and there's also using equations. So in this tutorial today, we're going to have a look at how we can support our CSW exams using design trees. And then in a separate tutorial, we'll look at how we can use the equation process. Okay, so let's dive in and let's have a look at how we can use design trees. Okay, so as you can see, I've already modeled this. So I've created this model um, uh, to the sizes of um, the CSW example exam. Now, as I've been through going through the modeling process, what I've been doing is I've been labeling certain aspects up that I know are going to change. So for example, the length of these here, which is 130, is actually our D length in our drawing. So I've labelled up this D1, which is that one, and then this one here, D2. So all we do is we click on there, click on it again, and we can then rename that there. Also, We'll show you in a sketch here. So if I just open this sketch here, edit that sketch, I have my sizes here, and this is um, A and B. So if I just click on um, my double click on my dimension here at the top, and you will see that in my value for that uh, dimension there, I have designated that as A. So I've actually changed the name there at the top to A, um, and that will come up so that I can pick from that in the design tree later. It just it just lets me know which one's which, so it's good practice to label them up. Um, I've done the same here, so this one would be B. As you can see, that's coming up as B. So all I've done is, as I've been going around actually putting them dimensions in, I've just changed that to A, B, C, all the way through to the uh, X and the Y values at the end. So I'm just going to come back out of there, so you know what <coughs> the process is as you're going through. Now you only have to do that once. Once you've labelled them up, they'll stay in there. Um, uh, and then it makes it easy for you as you open up your design tree. So let's have a look at the design tree, so design table. So if you come into MBD here, as your tabs, if you don't go through here or you don't have that tab, you can go to Insert, and you've got <coughs> Tables down at the bottom there. Okay, so you can go to Insert and Tables there at the bottom, or you can go to the MBD tab, and you've got Tables here. And we're after the Design Table. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can Auto Create it, or we can do a blank sheet. I'm going to show you both because it's well. I'm going to show you how you auto create, but then I'm going to show you how you add extras in if you need to. So let's go to auto create. Take that, and it's going to pull up all of the different ones down this side. So let's start off with um, A, B, C, and C. Now, as long as you are holding down control, it will let you select multiple. If you don't hold down control, it won't select multiple ones. So I'm just going to pick them first four to get started. Okay. And that will drop them in there like so. 
Okay. Now, if I want to add another one in, so for instance, I've got A, B, C there. If I now want to add E in, and come here, click on my drawing. So I've clicked on that in the diameter, and it's going to give me my E value here. You can see it's coming up E1 highlighted below. Double click on that, and it will add it in there. Same over here, click on that inside, turn around, click on that dimension, and it's going to add it in again. Now if I had a blank table, that's the way I would go around adding these in. Um, I can add D in as well, which is the length of there, and D in again, which is the length of here. So they've got the two D values there. And that just leaves me with my x and my y value. So my x value there and my y value there. And we've got all them values in place now. So you can see there how the design tables built itself up just by selecting the information that I need from, <coughs> from the actual um, model itself. So that's my default. So then, where it says default there, that means that they are the sizes that were created from the original model. I can now create um, alterations. So let's put some alterations in here. Two and three. <coughs> so that's alteration two and alteration three based off my default. So let's put some extra sizes in here. So these are, if I was to go down to the... Um, so you can do that slightly. Back to my sheet here. So my original size is A, B, C, D, E, and F for here. Um, and then for alteration two, they change slightly. And then alteration three, again, they change again. So it's just entering them values straight into there. So I've got for alteration two, 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 five. And for alteration 3, 209. For B, I've got 200 and 10, sorry, and 218. For C, 276 and 196. I'm just going to jump to the end of this and you will see when I've entered all the values how they are slightly different to each other. Okay, so I've entered all them up to D. Now I've just got X and the Y left. Now I've left these blank at the moment because effectively these here um, are not a set value. They change depending on the value that we've got in the table. So we can set that up as a formula as this here is an Excel spreadsheet. Um, so, this first section here is equal to A divided by 3. Hit that and it will put the value in for us. And I can just drag that down then. And that will change between the three. Now, I can do the same for this one. This last one is equal to B divided by 3 plus... 10. Drop that in there and again I can drag that down for all three of them there like so. And that's that table then completed with all of the information in there. So if I then just click off onto um, the design area it will save that table for me. And you can see it's saving in the background and it's going to ask me do I want to generate the three following? The, do I want to generate the following configurations two and three? So I'm okay to do that. Now that has created them in the background. To go to them, what I want to do is come across to my configurations manager, which is the third tab along here. And I've got my default set up here, and I've got my two alterations. Now, if I want to edit my table, if I've done something wrong and I want to edit it, if I just drop down tables there, right click on it, and I can edit that in there. I can also get rid of it there as well. But
but if I want to change my configurations, so let's uh, have a look what happens when we change our monolink configurations. So I'm just going to put it like that. So let's go to number two. So double click on the configuration here, give it a second to load, and it will change its size. Size is based on the values you've got in the design tree. And if we have a look at configuration three, you'll see again another change in sizes based on what we have in the design tree. Like so. <coughs> so them sizes also dependent on what they are set up. And I can go back to my default, rebuild that and we will get our original model back like so. So that's just one method of being able to quickly alter the way that we create our models um, and speed up that modeling process for changing sizes on our CSWA exams or CSWP exams, which is quite common to be asked for. Okay, so if you like that video, um, please hit that thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, uh, all subscribers help me to be able to develop more content and be able to put some more original things on for you. Um, if there is anything that you'd like to have a look at in the future, please let me know. Hit um, uh, Put that down in the comments box below and I will do what I can to support you with that. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.